guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and this is the third and final video in my little mini Etsy series here on YouTube all about how to actually open an Etsy shop. I've been taking you guys step by step through my journey of opening an Etsy shop, my second Etsy shop called Wild Grace. In video one, I talked about my experience as an Etsy seller, how my Etsy shop went viral, and a quick pros and cons list to having an Etsy shop. In video two, we walked through all of the steps to actually open a shop from beginning to end, including listing your first product and setting up shipping profiles to make shipping your Etsy orders a breeze. If you missed video one or video two, you can find the links for those in the description below. And in today's video, the third and final video in this Etsy series, I am showing you guys how to add some branded elements to your Etsy shops and how to fill out the owner bio, about story, and all of the policies you need as an Etsy seller. Let's hop on over to my screen and get started. After you get your first listing listed on Etsy and you get your actual shop built, it's time to spice it up a little bit with a few branding features, but also cover our bases with a few of the not so fun areas like policies. Let's just start with something easy and change our shop owner picture. I'm going to click this little down arrow next to the word you and then I'm going to click view profile. Pretty slim. Edit profile. Okay now we can upload an image from our desktop. I'm just going to click choose file and I have one saved that I use all the time right here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and save changes and see if that's even loading because I am not seeing it change oh there it is okay good perfect I am going to choose my gender as female but you have male rather not say and custom available as well put in my city there we go my birthday I am a Pisces, in case you're wondering. Okay, now you can have your About Me section, and this is going to be a two to three sentence bio that you want people to know about you um, in a professional sense. So I'm going to say, hi, I'm Ashley, a stay at home mom with a passion for crochet and baby girl accessories. I'm going to say I'm a stay-at-home girl mom with a passion for crochet and baby girl accessories. We could probably end it with a little bit of a better sentence, but for now that'll work. Favorite materials. Share up to 13 materials that you like. I like yarn, <laughs> cotton, acrylic, I'm going to do those two for now. Okay, include on your profile, yes, you want to include your shop, favorite items, favorite shop, treasury lists, and teens. So these are things like if you use Etsy as a buyer and you favorite different items throughout your life as an Etsy shopper, they will show up on your shop. So, or if you favorite other shops, they will show up here. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep all of those checked for now. Um, but if I find it as an issue down the road, I know I can edit my profile to make changes. Changes have been saved. So now I'm going to check view profile. Okay, and this is what we have now, looking good. If I had a website for Wild Grace, I would probably include that here as well. So now I'm going to click the Shop Manager button again to get me out of the profile and back into my shop dashboard. And we have a pop-up, a new service to expand your reach. We're putting our advertising budget and expertise behind your brand. Okay, I, this is not, I don't need to fool with this right now because I am a brand new shop. 
so I don't need to click on that. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to go to, this is my Etsy shop right here, and I'm going to click this little pencil, and that will let me edit my shop. We need to add a picture here. Okay, I'm going to click this little camera icon, choose a file, okay, make this photo or logo that represents your business. See examples. So if you would like a little bit of an, some examples, you can click on that. I'm just going to click choose file, desktop, and then I have my Wild Grace logo saved. I designed my logo on Canva, and then I'm going to click save. Oh, looks so cute. Perfect. Looks good. Now we have that saved. Now we need to add, describe your shop in one sentence. Trendy boho style accessories for baby girls and toddlers. Oh, shoot. Let's just say for little girls. Trendy boho style accessories for little girls. Done. Safe. Nice. Okay. We have, we can scroll down and we can see some options. Here is where we can add our shop announcement. So if you have anything that you want to say, let me show you where shop announcements show up on Etsy. So if you're just looking at somebody's shop, the shop announcement is going to be right here. So it's going to, if somebody goes to your actual shop URL, and that's going to be one of the first things they see after your banner. So we are going to see, they'll see your banner, your shop name, your tagline that we just created, and then some, some statistics. But then is the shop announcement. So it's one of the first things, and it looks like the first couple of sentences are going to be the only ones they see unless they click read more. And then you can add a lot more things to your shop announcement. So if you need to tell your customers anything, like if you've got a coupon code happening or anything like that, you could put it in your shop announcement. I currently have my turnaround time in my shop announcement. And then all of my listings say refer to the shop announcement for turnaround time. But for Wild Grace, I'm going to say... And the information Etsy gives you is use this space to share important up-to-date information with buyers. You can mention new products and special promos promotions. Just keep it short so they can start shopping. So we're going to say Welcome to the brand new Etsy shop Wild Grace Company. We create boho style accessories for baby girls and toddlers. Take a look around and see if anything catches your eye. Please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. We are happy to help. And then if I wanted to add a coupon code for a brand new shop, I could do that. I could say use code WELCOME20 or 20% off or 10% off or something like that if you wanted to do that and create a coupon code for your shop you could do that but let's just leave this for now and scroll down and see what's next we have an updates section bring more buyers to your shop with shop updates easily share shoppable photo updates with your fans on Etsy and on social media using the sell on Etsy app. Your updates will appear on your shop home and on the Etsy homepage for buyers who have purchased from you or favorited your shop or listings. That's good information. So your updates will appear on your shop home and on the Etsy homepage for buyers who have purchased or from you or favorited your shop or favorited your listings. So this is very good information. This is telling me that if you regularly create shop updates, they are going to show your stuff 
to everyone who has bought something from you, favorited your shop, or favorited one of your listings. So this is really good free marketing for you guys to take advantage of. Let's click learn more about shop updates and see what happens next. Okay, so you have to use it on the Sell on Etsy app. And you can read more about it here. Tag the photo with the list. Okay, so you take a photo in the app, tag the photo with one of your listings. And then buyers can buy your tagged listings straight from. Very cool. So that's something that we would want to play around with inside of the Etsy, the sell on Etsy app, which I highly recommend you get because you will get all of your orders directly to your phone if you do it that way. How do I get back? I'm just going to push the back button. Okay, so for now we're not going to do anything there, but that is something that you should dive into and figure that, figure that out because that would be very good for business. Okay, about Wild Grace Company. Add a video and up to five photos. Share photos of your process, workspace, or anything that can inspire your buyers. Very cool. So you could create a video of you showing how one of your products works, showing how to use one of your products, like if you sell messy bun beanies, or um, just a tour of your little space, your craft space. So that's something that you could use. People love videos, especially when they're online shopping. So you could add a video there or add up to five photos with captions here to show your workspace or pictures of your products or customer photos or anything like that. So those are very good. Add a story. Okay, and this is where you can add your about me story. So um, I will do these. I don't have pictures, branded pictures yet for Wild Grace, but as I get them, I will add them here. Um, and again, to get to this, I'm just editing my shop. I push the little pencil next to my shop name right here and then scroll down and that's how I got to these options. And again, to do the updates, you have to be within the Sell on Etsy app. But these things you could upload here right on your desktop. So I'm going to go to this little part and add a story headline and a little snippet story here. I will fast forward this part for you guys so you don't have to sit here and watch me try to come up with a good story. Okay, this is what I have so far. For the headline, I put who is Wild Grace Company. And for the about section, I put Wild Grace Company is currently made up of two boss ladies and was created as a shop to provide cute and trendy bohemian style accessories for baby girls. Both Ashley and team member Julie have daughters, so creating a shop just for moms of baby girls was close to our heart. We specialize in room decor pieces such as our rainbow pillow and cactus pillow, toys like our rainbow rattle baby toy, and adorable accessories such as the Biddy Boho Bib, Biddy Boho Bag, and the Boho Hair Bow Sets. Being a mom is one of the most re rewarding jobs on the planet, but it can also be hard. Wild Grace Company wants to help moms keep their little boho princesses cute and stylish while staying practical with easy-to-care-for products. We are just two girl moms doing what we love and spreading joy through the art of crochet. And I'm going to end it by saying happy shopping. Well, Ashley and Julie, save. Okay, perfect. Now you can, this is where you can add any other links you might have, like Instagram or Facebook. I don't have any, but I would click on that. I would choose the drop down menu and then I would put, my guess is it's the whole URL of your Instagram account. So www.instagram.com forward slash your um, profile name. So it would be forward slash a crafty concept if I was linking my other Instagram. Now I can add shop members. And this is where I'm going to add Julie. And I already have a picture of her. I'm going to cancel that because I don't have any yet. But when I build them, I will link them here. That way people can find all of my social media platforms and such. Okay, add a personal bio, choose a file, desktop, there's Julie's beautiful picture. Let that 
think about it for a minute. Julie, and she is maker. Ooh, I can give her more ro more roles. Shipper. Maker, shipper, and then I could add a custom one if I wanted to. I'm going to give her the custom one, mom boss. <laughs> add. And then I can say a little bit about Julie. Fellow mamas. I will let helper Julie write her own bio if she so chooses, but that will be our temporary one. Click save. Now we have, well, this is fun. You can add more members if you wanted to. Now we have a, an area called local and it says tell buyers where you're selling in person. If you are selling your items at a local craft fair or market or if you're hosting an event where other Etsy sellers will be setting up shop, you can use Etsy local to promote your event to buyers. Well, that's exciting. I don't have any shops, any markets scheduled right now, but I wanted to take a look at this anyway. Huh. Oh, then you type Oh, wow. No events in Berea this year. That's not fun. What about Richmond? Richmond, Kentucky. Go. Oh, we have an event. Oh, cool. And there's another Etsy seller. That's very neat. Okay, I will look at this later. That's just a quick little overview in case you were wondering what that is. Now we're going to shop policies. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, we can do this together. Switch, switch to simple shop policies. We'll give you a quick template to create your shop policies in seconds. Okay, that sounds brilliant. Thank you. Review and customize these policies so they work for you. Processing time. The time I need to prepare an order for shipping varies. For details, see individual items. I'm going to change this to, can I change it? Why won't it let me change it? Okay. Won't let me change it. I was going to change it to we. I don't think we should do exchanges, but we can accept returns. Contact me within seven days of delivery. Ship item back within 14 days of delivery. Actually, they need to contact me pretty quick if they don't like it. And they get got two weeks to send it back to me. EU law allows EU residents to return an item by contacting the seller within 14 days. We recommend, okay, so we'll do 14 days just so it's the same for everybody. Okay. Mm. The following items can't be returned or exchanged. Because of the nature of these items, unless they arrive damaged or defective, I cannot accustom. Okay. Okay, we don't offer any of those. But if somebody wants custom colors that aren't available in my shop, I'll probably still return them. I'm just going to return them. Buyers are responsible for return shipping costs. If the item is not returned in the original condition, the buyer is responsible for any loss in value. That'll work. Shoppers won't see this field until you add a privacy policy. See the seller handbook for a sample privacy policy you can customize for your shop. If you ship to the EU or offer your listings to buyers there, you're required to have GDPR comp compliant privacy policy. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click publish and see what it does. Publish shop. Okay. By clicking publish, you'll post your shop policies and agree to comply with them. Okay. Okay. Now our policies. I wonder if I can edit it now to. Okay, here we go. I can edit to say we. Oh, it still won't let me edit it. That's aggravating. Okay, whatever. So I'm not going to add estimated shipping times just yet. That will be dependent on which shipping option they choose. So I'm just not going to even do that. Buyers are responsible. Okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. Save. 
after we do our shop. That was easy, honestly. This is where you can add any frequently asked questions you might get from being an Etsy seller. Seller details, selling to Europe. Buyer protection law requires sellers to display their name, business address, and where applicable to buyers. Only buyers who have set their location to an EU country will see this information. Etsy will not use this information to contact you. Okay. I wonder if it will... Let me put my P.O. box. Because I am not about to put... So this would be your business address. If you don't want to use your personal address, I would suggest investing in a P.O. box. Um, I am not comfortable with putting my personal address live for everyone to see. Um, well, even though it would only be the United States, I mean, <laughs> United States, EU countries, I still, I'm just going to do my P.O. box. And phone number, do I have to put my phone number? I'm just going to click save without the phone number and see what it does. Okay, that should be enough information. It didn't say anything about a phone number, so I'm not going to put that. Now I'm going to click view shop. And this is what we have. There's the about that we typed up. My shop members, processing time, customs and import taxes, all of the payments that we take. I do accept cancel, whatever. We just leave that off for now. Okay, so far so good. Now let's go back to our shop manager. Then I'm going to click on this settings, the arrow on settings, info and appearance, shop name. Okay, here is where you can put a message to a buyer. So we include this message on receipt pages and the email buyers receive when they purchase from your shop. So a nice, this is a nice spot to include a little thank you to your customers after they purchase something. And then if you had any digital items, which I do not, not in Wild Grace, so save changes. Okay, let's go to settings about your shop. Then we can do our members, include our members, and then our story. I'm still looking for, I'm still looking for the privacy policy that they said I need to add and then never gave me the option to add. Settings, info, and appearance, policies, shop policies, edit, Processing time, estimated payment, returns and exchanges. We accept cancellations within 24 hours of purchase. We accept returns. Okay, aha! Privacy policy. Okay, so I had to click the edit button. And then now I have the option to do the privacy policy. So I'm going to go back over here to a crafty concepts and I'm going to see if I can find my privacy policy from over here. Should be at the very bottom. Did I pass it up? Privacy policy. Read the privacy policy for a crafty concept. Okay. Now I am going to copy and paste this entire thing. Now at the bottom it says how to contact me. For purposes of EU data protection law, I, Ashley Stallsworth, am the data controller of your personal information. If you have any questions or concerns, you may contact me at Ashley at a Crafty Concepts. Alternatively, you may mail me. Please contact me via email for my mailing address. That's nice. Okay, so I'm just going to select all of this and copy and paste it. And I got this from a, a different place that it, 
this, I did research for this when I was opening a crafty concept, and this is this covers all of the requirements for the EU data information. So I just hit Control C, and I'm going to add privacy policy. Control V to paste it, and then I'm going to change the contact information. And the rest of it is the same. So you would just, you're welcome to copy and paste from either Wild Grace or a crafty concept. I did do research on this privacy policy back when um, this was brought into, into, was brought up and all the laws were changed for the GDPR stuff. Um, most of it's over my head, but I do know that this policy covered all of my bases. So you are welcome to copy and paste it and then change your contact information at the bottom. Do not use my contact information because if your customer tries to contact me, I will have no idea what they're talking about. If you do end up copy and pasting this, just be sure to read over it before you do so you know if you are compliant. Um, I did read over this when I copy and pasted it back in 2018. So I'm just going to click save policies. There we go. Now everything is set up except for our shop banner. That's the last thing that we haven't set up. I don't have one created yet, but I will be creating it on Canva. And that's C-A-N-V-A. And I will put an affiliate link for you guys in the description below for Canva Pro. But there's also a free version that you can use to create your banner as well. Canva Pro just gives you more font and image and element options. Okay, and now our shop is done. I will create my banner and include that. All I will do is click the add the plus sign when I'm editing and then upload the image straight from my computer just like I did Julie's picture and these two pictures. So that's really simple. Um, and then my shop is up and running. All I need to do is start listing more products and then jump on the sell on Etsy app and Take advantage of the updates option that Etsy gives you. That's really super cool, and I don't think I knew that previously. That's all it takes, guys. Well, guys, this is it for our little mini Etsy series here on YouTube. I hope you found these videos helpful, informative, and easy to follow. If you would like to see more Etsy videos in the future, leave a comment on this video and tell me what kind of Etsy questions or topics you guys would like to see here in a YouTube video. Also, be sure to sign up for the IG Crash Course if you haven't already. This is a free three-page PDF that's just a list of do's and don'ts for how to be successful on Instagram. You may be doing things in your Instagram strategy right now that is actually hurting you in the eyes of the algorithm. The link for the IG crash course is down below. You can sign up to my email list and it will be sent to your inbox automatically. I absolutely loved creating these videos for you guys, so definitely let me know down in the comments if you want to see more Etsy videos and I will start cranking them out as fast as I can. That's all I have for today, folks. Congratulations on opening your brand new Etsy shop and I wish you all the success on Etsy, sending lots of Etsy sales dust your way, and I will see you in the next video.